Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Ganit. This is Sambi Sardana and in this video we will be learning this amazing technique and method of solving the advanced level sitting arrangement set with more than three variables within five minutes. So this technique and method and approach will help you solving the advanced level sitting arrangement set uh, with more than two variables within five minutes. Uh, very, very important for students who are going to appear for Maharashtra CT exam, guys. Learn this technique. What you are supposed to do? How will you solve this set within five minutes? That means how will you solve five questions of a sitting arrangement set which have a number of variables within five minutes? Let me tell you the technique, guys. See this. The moment you read a question and read this type of question, you'll get to know that this is a sitting arrangement puzzle. The first two or three lines will give you the basic idea. What are the different variables? For example, when you go through it, these are the 10 CEOs. You are not, not supposed to read the names of these people working in uh, private banks, ICIC, HDFC, XCs, and then seven PSU banks. And they're sitting in two rows. A, B, C, D, E are facing south and FGH, IJ are facing north respectively. So these are some basic information. You do not need to spend much time on it. All you have to do is A, B, C, D, E are facing south. So can I say that A to E, these are the people who are facing, who are sitting on this side of the tray, this side of the row, right? This side of the table and rest of the people that means from F to I are facing north. So these are the six people who are sitting on this side of the table, right? They are sitting on the, this side of the table. Very easy information to understand, right? This is just a basic idea of the set, right? Now, what are the what 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 are those points that you need to start this question from? See this, guys. Never start putting the random values uh, uh, from these statements. Start from that particular information which gives you the unique position of a particular person. For example, in this question, the next information says there are three females and seven male CEOs. No male is a CEO of a private bank. Now you should know that there are three private bank. No male is a CEO of a private bank. That means all persons who are working in the private bank are females. None of the female is facing the other. Okay, female is not sitting in front of the uh, uh, other female. And because there are three private banks, so we can say that there are three females because only females are working in private bank. This is simple and easy to interpret. It. But the point here, right, where the students are wasting a lot of time, what do they do? What 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 they generally do is they simply pick any point from these statements and start filling the values. Don't don't do that. Start solving the set because the from which particular point you are you are starting solving this sitting arrangement will decide how much time you will take to solve the set, right? So always pick a point, always pick that particular statement which gives you which give you a unique arrangement of that particular person. For example, here I who works in Axis Bank sits in the middle of the row. I know that I is on this side, right? So I is in the middle of the row. Can I start solving my set from this? Yes, I is working in Axis Bank and is sitting in the middle of the row. Yes, this has to be the point you should start solving this set from. Now, from the next point onward, you're supposed to look only those information which is related to I or Axis. Anything else which is not related to I or Axis or something which is dependent on other variable is 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 going to take a lot of time right if you start taking if you start solving the sets on different possibilities you'll be wasting a lot of time right so now once you start once you filled i is sitting over here and person is working in axis bank next you need to pick either that particular statement which belongs to i or axis bank or you need to pick that particular statement which gives you another unique arrangement of people which is not related to any of these two. Now, when you look at the next point, the person working in HDFC and ICIC bank sit on either side of the person who is exactly opposite to I. Now, this is something which is related to I. I can use it, right? The person working in HDFC bank and ICIC bank sits adjacent to the person who is sitting exactly opposite to I. So, can I say... These two people must be working in either HDFC or ICICI, right? Anything that is related to I or Axis is something that I should be using. Now, G sits third to the right of the person who works in Yugo Bank, who is not facing the person working in HDFC Bank. Do we know where is HDFC? No. So there is no point of using this information. Do not make cases. You will be wasting your time. There are two persons sitting between F and J. Do we know where is F? No, we do not know where is F. 
So should I be using this information? No, do not waste time, right? The person working in HDFC bank is facing F. Do we know where is F? No, leave it. Who is working in F? Leave this information. B sits to the end of the row and D sits to the end of the right of the B. Who is working in Union Bank? Now you see that this particular statement here, this particular statement here, right? We start from this point. B sits to the end of the row and D sits to the end, right of B who, B who is working in Union Bank. This complete statement is independent of any of these variables and it is also giving us a unique arrangement of B and D. So use this information. That's the point that you have to use that B who is sitting at the end of the row. I know that B is sitting on this side. So B will be either, either here or here. And because D is on the right of B, B sits to the end of the row and D sits to the right of B. Now I need to place B in such a way so that D is third to the right of D. So if I place B over here, I will not have any position for D because there is no right of B in this particular case. Because if B is facing in this side, then the right of B will be this side, right? So B cannot come over here. So the only possibility for B to come over here is this. And because D sits to the right of B, so D will be over here. That's the point you have to use. And this will help you now getting more information related to B and D. Now pick those points which are related to B and D and you will be done with your set. Right. Now B who is working in Union Bank. It is also given to us that B is working in Union Bank. Fill this information. Now you see that A or B are immediate neighbor of E. Now something related to B is very useful to me because I already know where B is sitting. Right. A and B are immediate neighbor of E. A and B are immediate neighbor of E. Okay, D sits third to the right of B. I'm sorry. D sits third to the right of B. So the position of D, so the position of D would be this one, right? This is first right, the second right, this is third right. The face is towards uh, uh, south, right? Now, B, now use this information. E, A and B are immediate neighbor of E. So if A and B both are immediate neighbor of E, so can I say E has to be over here so that B can be the neighbor of E? And then A has to be over here. The only person I'm left with is C here. So C will come over here, right? Now, now that's it. Once you get to know these points, that's it. The set is done. It's now just a formality. E is not facing the person working in Dena Bank. Not a point I should be using now. The person working in Canada Bank and J are diagonally opposite to each other. Person working in the, uh, person working in Canada Bank and J are diagonally opposite to each other. See this. I know that J is on this side and if I place J over here, can this person be directly opposite to Canada Bank? No, this person is already union working in Union Bank. So the only possibility for J is to come over here. So J will definitely come on this side and because J is sitting opposite to the person working in Canada Bank, so this person must be working in Canada Bank, right? Is it clear? Now try to look those information which is related to G because we have left so many information related to G. There are two persons sitting between F and J. Now once you get to know J is over here, once you know J is over here, two persons sitting between F and J, so F will be over here. Now there is one more information related to F. G sits third to the right of a person who works in Yuko Bank. Now the only position for G who sits third to the right of the person working in Union Bank, G has to be over here so that this can person be third to the right of the person who works in Yuko Bank. So this person must be in Yuko Bank. That's it guys, right? Most of the information is done. Now all you are left with is picking the points and picking the statements and filling this information, right? Okay. Uh, G sits third, we have used it. Who is not facing the person working in HDFC Bank? Now G is not facing the person working in HDFC Bank. So that means this must be ICICI. If this is ICI, then this would be HDFC, right? So G is not facing the person working in HDFC bank. So this must be ICICI. So this would be HDFC. E is not facing the person working in Dena bank. So this person is not Dena bank, right? There is also something related to F. Uh, the person working in uh, F who is working in Bank of Maharashtra. This is also a direct information. F is working in Bank of Maharashtra. Okay, this is not Dena bank. And the person working in SBI bank faces south. So SBI person is facing south, so SBI has to come over here, so SBI will come over here. And because this is not Dena Bank, so this will be Dena Bank. 
only one bank is left that is PNB so this will be PNB that's it the set is done right and we also know that the person uh, females are working in private banks so this is female this is female this person is female rest of them are male so I'm using plus sign for those people who are male and minus sign for those who are female and one person left is F G H I uh, H H will come over here that's it the set is done this is how you can solve a sitting arrangement set with more than two or three variables within five minutes if you exactly know what are the points that you're supposed to use first because you will get stuck in these type of sets when you are making multiple possible cases right if you are making two or more than three cases it will take 15 to 20 minutes to solve one set but you can avoid making cases only if you pick the right statement first that's the only way of solving a sitting arrangement set within five minutes right Pick those points which are related to each other and which are which are which are which are not dependent on making cases, right? I'm sure if you if you look at the level of difficulty of Maharashtra CT exam, uh, this is what you can expect, right? This is the level of difficulty you can expect, and this is what you should be trying, right? There can be a set which which requires you to make more than two possible cases or three cases, but that will take a lot of time. You should be avoiding those sets. But this is also a difficult set, but we can manage solving it in five minutes. Thank you so much for watching the video. All the students preparing for Maharashtra MBA CET exam must follow this channel. There are a lot of videos coming your way on this YouTube channel. You can also join my Telegram group. Link is given in the description part of the video. All the updates of my classes on Maharashtra CET as well as my videos that I'll be uploading for MBA CET exam will be given to you in this Telegram group. There are also compiled link that you can refer to for your exam preparation completely free of cost. Thank you so much and please subscribe to the channel Easy Ganit by Sameer. Thank you.